All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today we have a topic which is about the miracle of the Quran, and actually I chose my topic based on the request of uh, some of you. Actually, there is a request um, I received from a friend, and I will talk about it in more details. Uh, uh, maybe during this uh, uh, video. But we notice all of us how much Muslims they try to focus in claiming that Quran is a book full of what it's called science. So, you know, uh, this is why actually I made a book, all of you, you know. Uh, both my books are speaking about the miracles of the Quran or which is claimed by Muslims to be a miracle. Uh, the reason Muslims, they try to make you believe that the Quran is a book of miracle or science, sorry, which is supposedly a miracle. Why it's a miracle? Because how come the Quran knows about it? And that is supposedly the miracle. And which is really funny. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, the logic of knowing something that would make it a miracle. Uh, that's mean the one who uh, there's a there's a there's a guy. I think he's called, his name Notre Dame, something like this. He made a he have a book and he made many prophecies and really they came to be true. But he's not claiming it's coming from God to him. You know, he's just making an expectation of things to happen. Uh, that does not make him God, for sure. However, I wish that the Quran, really, is giving us some of the truth Muslims they are speaking of. Because that will make the Muslims at, at least uh, look like a decent people who they are trying to provide us with something real. But, you know, always I notice that Muslims, they are far from being honest. And they are doing that in purpose. I never saw a Muslim speaking about Islam telling the truth. And in a second, I'm going to open my Skype in case any Muslim would like to call us live. So, you know, uh, you guys will not hear uh, one side of the story. You see, Muslims, when they make a program, uh, as an example, the Dean show, which is a very funny and stupid show because, you know, it's everything is set up. They say, if you have a question, send us an email, uh, call us. But when you call them, they will never let you go through. Because they are afraid, they are afraid that you are going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, ask questions. And those questions are very embarrassing. Uh, look like we have here a problem in the window. Hold on. All right, let us fix that. All right. So, if a Muslim he really he is honest about what he believe, and he have anything to back up what he claim, I would like to hear. I would like to see a Muslim proven us wrong, that and convincing us that Islam really have scientific miracles. Otherwise, Islam not only does not have scientific miracles. Islam is a horrible book of stupidity. I'm not calling names. I'm not trying to insult. I, this is what I believe, and I can prove it right now, right here. So I'm going to go in Skype right now. And my open invite for all Muslims, you are more than welcome to call me, to challenge me, to refute me. If you can do so, I will be really happy to hear it from you. Uh, if we go in the internet right now and we search Google, just type the word Quran miracle, you will end with endless websites speaking about what Muslims claim to be miracles. And this is an example. I just type in the top of Google Quran miracles. The result is 4 million 420 420,000 result you believe it the Muslims they made four million almost like four million and a half post about what is called Quran miracles and I can assure you that those are four million and a half lie and each post is full of lies, which means that just the post alone, I'm saying the whole post, because every page, and you will notice that all of them, they are copy-paste from each other. All of them. 
you know now uh, you can if you are a Muslim you can call and you can ask me and you can challenge me to refute any of those miracles of your choice you see I don't want to pick up my uh, uh, my questions and my answers and find something is really funny in the Quran and say ah, Quran is stupid no I don't want to do that huh you call me you show me you prove to the Christians who they are listening to us to the Muslims who they are listening to us to the Hindus to the Buddhas to the etc and let us see if what you Muslims have in your claim is it true and I am sure now Muslim will call why Muslim will not call to show us the miracle of the Quran what is the reason what is the real reason Muslims they speak only about Quran miracles to someone who don't speak Arabic like David Wood if you remember David was was debate, debating uh, Shabir Ali uh, Shabir Ali what he mentioned to David Wood he did not mention to him about science really he mentioned to him the miracle of number 19 and the order to prove that miracle or disapprove it you have to speak Arabic so he chose for him a topic he cannot go through for he have a weakness he don't speak Arabic You see the strategy the strategy do Shabir Ali dare to question me about the miracle 19 as an example do he dare to mention that miracle in front of my face and all of us we knew that many people they ask him and ABN TV ask him to debate him but debate me he agree in the beginning and then he back up he run away so who is the Muslim is willing to call us right now right here as we speak please guys don't forget to copy the link and share it around on Facebook Twitter and invite your friends who is the Muslim the lovely Muslim the devoted Muslims who is willing to show us the amazing miracles in the Quran otherwise all what you have in front of us is a big fat lie My Skype is open. My address in Skype is DB, DB TV. You do not need to add me. Just you can add it from your side. I'm not going to add you because I have no more space to add. As you see, this is my name in in uh, in Skype. My account. You can just call me, and people will listen to you. Will listen to me. And the one is funny. People will laugh at him. The one is lying. People will know he is lying. right uh, when somebody says uh, uh, speaking about uh, David did not perform any miracle why Muhammad should have a miracle and how come David don't have a miracle you see that the problem is is in the, in the Quran the Quran it says the Quran says let me show you my friend you see we have a book of stupidity the Quran put rules in order to believe in something and it's very funny that you make rules and then you don't want to believe in those rules you know what I mean imagine I say to you in order to be a prophet uh, you have to prophesy otherwise why you call you prophet <laughs> I mean that's simple right and then I say oh there is a guy he did not need to be a prophet to be called a prophet that would be funny Muhammad himself he put rules he have a book it's called the Quran and this book provide details about the one uh, uh, you know uh, you know people they should accept or refuse I mean if somebody as an example in the time of Muhammad uh, there was a prophet who claimed to be a prophet supposedly and Muhammad he supposedly exposed him how he exposed him he did not actually he killed him you know his followers later they killed him now in the Quran you will find this 
In chapter 3, verse number 183. And this is all the Muslim translations. I'm using this website now. Let me make the text bigger so you guys can see it. I hope it's clear from your side and the words are not cut off. Are they? I think they are fine. Uh, what this verse is saying that the God of Islam, the God of Islam, he put rules. And again, this is a chapter 3, verse number 183. They say to him, We will not believe in a prophet or in a messenger unless he send us, like he provide a sacrifice and a fire come down from the sky to eat it. And who is the one who said that to do? Who, who is the one who said do that? It's Allah. <laughs> uh, guys, are you listening? Imagine the God of Islam saying, told, told those people, don't believe in any prophet unless he make a sacrifice and then to prove to you that he is approved by me, I will send the fire and eat it. And then the, the, those people, they said to him, okay, you know, do it. This is what Allah, he said, do it. What is the, well, make a sacrifice and let the fire come down and eat it. And look at the answer of Muhammad. Look at the stupid answer of Muhammad, the one who have no miracle. He said, many apostles had come to you before me with the manifest to prove. Look, what the heck? What does have to do with him? They came with the manifest proof because they are a prophet. <laughs> you know what I mean? You see, Muhammad did not say to them, no, 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 this is not the way to prove me to be a prophet or not. No, he did not say that. He agreed with them. The Quran, Allah supposed to agree because it's in different verse. If you remember the story of the, the sons of, uh, of uh, 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 you know, Adam, uh, Cain and Abel, you know, both of them, according to Islam, they were fighting over their sister because both of them, each one of them, according to the Muslim delusions, stupid stories, that Eve, each time she gave birth, she gave birth to a boy and a girl. All right. Now, one of them is a twin. She ha she is a girl, but she have a cross eyes. So both of them they don't want to marry this cross eyes girls. So they are fighting now about the women or the sister who is does not have a cross eyes. So what Allah told the uh, Adam told him, okay, tell your sons to give a sacrifice, and the uh, and and the one I send the fire to eat his sacrifice, he is the one I approve. This is why the stupid Muhammad, he cannot deny this. He cannot say to them, no, this is not the way. You know what I mean? Because this is how Allah from the beginning of time, he approve, he show who he approve on who he disapprove. Are you getting my point? So Muhammad, he is the one who told them how to know who is approved by God, who is not approved by God. And then Muhammad himself, he don't want to practice the rule of approval, which he himself, he mentioned. <laughs> and what he say? Oh, Prophet, before me, they gave you uh, miracles. But yes, this is the point. Prophet, before you, they give miracles. You don't. I mean, the answer itself is very stupid. You know what I mean? The answer itself is stupid. They are asking you, this is the whole point. Prophet before you, they have miracles. How come you don't have any? Then you say to them, oh, prophet before me, they have miracles. We they knew that. This is what they are saying to you. How come you don't? And you are the one who said to them that Allah, if he approve a prophet, he send the fire to consume a sacrifice. And hey, Muslims, why, why somebody need to give a sacrifice? You see here the Muslims, they are lying in the translation. They said uh, an, an offering. What offering? 
You want to give Allah money? What does that mean? <laughs> what offering? Huh? What offering? Where in, where in the verse it says offering? It's a sacrifice. The Muslim, they have tons of articles lying. They say in Islam, we don't believe in sacrifice. Well, you are a bunch of liars and you have no dignity. And here we go. Different translator, look what he said. Sacrifice, do you see it? Suddenly it became a sacrifice. Here it is offering. But offering is not a sacrifice. And you know that. You know what I mean? You see how they lie in the translation? Why here it is sacrifice and here it is offering? What happened? Offering is not a sacrifice. If I give some money to the church as donation, this is not a sacrifice. Sacrifice in the religion term is about you providing, uh, you know, something uh, like a meat or a goat. You sacrifice a sheep. You sacrifice etc. This is why the Muslims they do that. In the Muslims, when they do Ir Ramadan and what they call uh, uh, supposedly today as today, they call it Al Adha. But both of them they are the day of sacrifice. In both occasions, the Muslim they do Adha. In the end of Ramadan, they sacrifice millions of animals in the end of what they call a lot they sacrifice millions of but if this is not offering this is sacrifice when the god of islam according to the muslims he asked he asked abraham to sacrifice his son what allah did which is a story copy from the bible we know Allah, he sent his own sacrifice and he sent the fire which ate somehow that sacrifice. So the people are saying to him, well, you know what? If you are a prophet of God, do what, can, what the prophet of the God do. Because this is how God, he treated Adam and his children. He sent the fire from the sky. This is how he treated Abraham. How come you are not the same? Where is your where is your sacrifice which God can send the fire to take it? So, guys, are you getting my my answer? The one who asked me the question in Skype about David and Muhammad. So, Muhammad himself he put a rule about how you can be considered a prophet. How we know that somebody is accepted by God or not? Muhammad he mentioned how is simply by offering a sacrifice not offering only a sacrifice not offering you have to offer a sacrifice bloodshed and then god he will send the fire from heaven and that fire will eat that sacrifice on other way is going to take it up and will disappear so muhammad he cannot get out of the rules which he tried to convince people that this is how god he approved his prophets He made the rule and people asking why how come you know why you don't have any the funny is the funny the funny answer he said uh, will the prophet before me they gave you proof and you will see why muhammad did not say to them well the quran is a miracle do you know that the quran brother sisters tell you the, that that uh, how the the big bang <laughs> Why Muhammad did not mention the Big Bang? Why Muhammad did not mention to them, here we go, I'm telling you miracles, here we go, how you know about the baby, how is he created? The, the Arab at that time, they laugh at him. Do we have any Muslim listening? Huh? Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim is willing to call us? Uh, this search engine is not good, really. Any Abdul?
in chapter 5 verse number 27 what that chapter is about the two sons of Abraham or oh sorry of uh, Adam they offer a sacrifice Allah he accept from one he reject the other one how he accept the sacrifice he's in the fire and the Quran all of it is full of the Arab and the people around Muhammad keep asking him why you don't have a miracle why you don't even have one just give us one you know the Muslim they say to you Jesus look how many look how many miracles Jesus he have according to Islam he can tell you what you had in your house he can tell you what you uh, what you ate he can he can create from the mother bird he can create uh, uh, creatures or uh, human if you want he can make the blind see which means he can create eyes he can create uh, uh, you know he can raise raise people from from death all of this given to Jesus what about Allah he saved one of them don't give it to Jesus Jesus have a lot already give one to Muhammad what about Muhammad making a blind man see there's a there's a blind man he used always to be to, to be around Muhammad and Muhammad oh if you remember in the chapter of Abasa Muhammad he kicked him away why Allah don't want to take one miracle from Jesus? Jesus have a lot of miracle. Give him one to Muhammad. Come on, this is not fair. Do we have any Muslim? Any beautiful Muslim would like to call us live right now? So let us go back to that topic. Do really the Quran contain a scientific discovery or it is a hocus, it is a lie? I say it is a big fat lie. What do you say, Muslims? Muslims, what do you say? I say this is a big fat lie what do you say who is a muslim is willing to call us suddenly the quran became the book of a spaceship the galaxies the star war the you know even communicate like uh, communication uh, uh, you know uh, a cell phone imagine all of this is in the Quran I mean the Muslim they come with a lot of things which is far away from what the Quran is talking about when the Quran is speaking about the stupidity the Muslim they make it science so who is the Muslim I don't want to start Muslim don't force me to start getting you busted one by one I'm waiting for you to call me and to give me I want you to give me the most powerful miracle guys are you posting the links for the for the for the, for the live casting around in, in Facebook and Twitter please do so maybe we can get a Muslim he is a knowledgeable Muslim he can really show us that we are wrong you never know maybe you are wrong maybe the Quran is uh, containing scientific miracle how you know I mean come on Allah is so powerful you know didn't you remember when Muhammad he invoked his God when Muhammad he said I was the most weak person in sex so Muhammad is having a problem with his sexuality and his penis is not functioning so he invoked his God Allah and he sent him a dish of shish kebab and he ate it and he get the power of 40 men and today scientists they prove that if you eat shish kebab you will get the power of 40 men exactly Abdul, I eat shish kebab from time to time. Nothing happening, my friend. Are you serious? If we eat shish kebab coming from Allah, we will get the power of 40 men. And how Muhammad, he measured his penis power by 40 men. Like he went in a competition between him and 40 men in sex and he was able to beat them all. Or he have 40 times sex a day. Or maybe 80. Because a man, I think at least he, 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 can, he can do it at least twice a day. Hmm? That means did Muhammad have sex 80 times a day? How, how Muhammad discovered that he had the power of 40 men? Is that a scientific miracle? And in a funny, you know, the Muslim they say to you, 
uh, the Quran says actually that if Allah wants something to be he say be Ooh. so how come Allah did not say to Muhammad penis be be good and he was good he was not able to do that according to the story he went to the, his kitchen and he made a barbecue of shish kebab and then he sent it with a delivery guy and then he ate it Muhammad and then after he ate it his penis like point This is the only miracle Muhammad he have. It's about his penis and the fact later we found that this is, was a lie. His penis was not working. If you remember Aisha, she said, not me, hmm? not me, Muslims. Uh, let us see. I hate this keyboard. All right. The prophet continued for such and a such period imagining what? What what what? The prophet is imagining imagining what? That's weird. What do you mean imagining? Read with me, Abdul, read with me. The prophet continues for such and such of a period of time imagine that he had bing bong with his wives But the fact he was not doing bing bong with his wives. It was the goat So where is the power of 40 men? The wife are waiting in the bedroom and Muhammad is doing a goat he think he had his sex with his wife. He was doing sex with who? When the wife, she says, imagine, this is not a during night sleeping. This is during daytime. This guy, he have an illusion. He imagined himself having sex with his wife. But in fact, he did not. So he was doing sex with who? And how, in for the sake of your God, Allah, huh? how you can you trust a man, he cannot even recognize what is real, from what it's fake including having sex with his wives imagine I come to my wife I say hey my wife how how you like it today she say hey, like what I said what do you mean what are you talking about we had a very great sex today no yes no yes what's wrong with you, you forgot it was like 14 hours what you did not even get close to me So the truth is Muhammad used to go around lying to people about his sexual power because this is a very stupid community. The man, he is like a rooster, so he fabricate lies about the power of his penis because supposedly those people, they have a mentality. If the man, he can, so excuse my language, he can if a lot, that's mean he is a real man. Hmm? So Muhammad want to show them that he's a real man. So he starts saying, I did today, I did attend my all my wives together. All your wife together, all of them? Yes, all of them, Allahu Akbar. And then they ask the wives, first time, second time, third time. They say no. They don't know his lies. They don't know what he's saying outside. The women, they talk. They say no, he did not even touch us yesterday or anything. So in order to save his ass, so what they start saying? Oh, the prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but in fact, he was not. So, obviously, this is a miracle. Here we go. The prophet, it's a miracle to imagine you are having sex with your wives, but in fact, you weren't having sex with the goat. Muhammad was having sex with who? And if somebody cannot be trusted even to tell you simple thing about him having sex or not, how you can trust him about seeing an angel? This guy obviously he is delusional. He is he need a medication. This guy he have a mental issue. You do not need to be genius to notice this is there is no such a thing. It's called the you know he was controlled by black magic. This is stupid to say. And even if you Muslim believe in that, that Muhammad was controlled by black magic, that means Muhammad is a very bad person according to Islam. Why? Because the Quran says that my followers, Allah He said to Shaitan, my followers, you have no authority over them except the one who follow thee. Except who? 
the one who follow thee so shaitan he cannot place black magic and be witch muhammad and you know it's very funny that the muslims trying to convince us that muhammad was bewitched okay so you have a bewitched prophet are you sure so you Muslims, if a Christian person, he said to you, you're a prophet is a bewitched prophet. Are you going to get angry? Be honest. How a prophet of God was bewitched. Anyone would like to call me and defend his bewitched prophet? You see, I'm not saying my own words. Here we go. This is your... This is your Sahih al-Bukhari. This is the wife of Muhammad, the favorite wife, saying to us that the Prophet was, was bewitched. What bewitched mean? Controlled by the devil. You, the Prophet was bewitched? And Abdul, and look what she's saying. The prophet was bewitched so that he began to imagine. Yeah, what? What? He imagined that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done. What the heck? Muhammad is not even qualified to be a delivery for the mail office. Because at the end of the day, he will come back to the, office, the post office, uh, uh, you know, and he will say to them, I delivered them all. And then they ask him where nobody received any letter. He, uh, and, but he imagined he did. But the fact he dumped them in the dumpster. Based on this, Muhammad is not even qualified to work in the post office, my friend. Not to be a prophet. Who in the world when I hire such, such a person? Imagine you have an employee, you, you tell him, I want to give you $2,000, go and deposit them in the bank. <laughs> and then he come back, he says, uh, hey, I checked the bank account, there is no money. Uh, I deposit them. You, 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 you deposit them or you imagine you did deposit them? Do we have any Muslim here? He can imagine himself, he can debate me. If there is any Muslim, he can imagine himself debating me. Hello? So we have a prophet. He have, we have a million reasons to believe he is a crazy man. He have a mental issue. He imagined things. And the one who is witnessing for that, which is making it more funny, it's not us. It is the wives of Muhammad and the companion of the Muhammad and the Muslims themselves. They say to us, yes, the prophet, our prophet was bewitched. He was imagining things. He was a crazy. So you want to follow a crazy man? Who is a Muslim would like to call me? And by by the way, how they how they bewitched the prophet? They took some hair from his ass or some hair away from his what and and their arm. I mean, have you are you crazy Muslims? Do you really believe a Jewish guy was able to take some hair from Muhammad and control him from far away by the help of the devil? Now I know why Sam Shamoon, our brother, he don't grow his hair. <laughs> I advise you my friend to stay bold this is the only way to be secure from the from being bewitched ah and now I know why Christian Prince he didn't go to the barber shop he cut his hair by himself ah, he is afraid that in the barber shop somebody will grab some hair and control him from far away that's a heck of scientific miracle so now, my friends, I'm calling you Muslims, my friends, because seriously, I, I don't, I don't see you as my enemy. I see you as a victim. 
I know you hate me. I know you know. Actually, yesterday there's a guy. Um, I forgot his name. Uh, in the previous video, uh, this guy he posted something. Maybe I should share it with you. Let me see. He posted saying, "I use uh, like something I use I, like I used to uh, hate you, etc. You know, for the things you say." Um, let me see which one, so I can show you his text. I don't really remember which one. Uh, maybe this one. Let us see here. All right, let's go to the text. Yeah, let, let me show you what this guy he said. It's a, it's a really interesting. His name is Frank uh, Grimmy, whatever. I remember seeing one of your videos when I was a Muslim. I hated you. And I made fun of your accent. Thought. So, all of that I could not disapprove you I am happy to no longer be a Muslim that's beautiful that's beautiful and I know exactly how you feel as a Muslim when you hear me especially first time second time third time you will be upset you will hate me you will curse me you will pray to your fake God Allah to to, to destroy me blah 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 etc you know Inside you, you know, I'm saying the truth. I'm showing you everything in the screen. None of my words is my words. It's yours. I'm just reading what is written in your books. And you know, the funny, you, you show the Muslims all what is written in their books, and then they accuse you to be a liar. I'm reading in front of you. It's in the front of your screen. I never mentioned something without showing it and proving it. So do we have any Muslim wanna call us and show us the scientific miracles of the Quran? Because I'm waiting really for a Muslim because that will make us more excited to see if this is a true. Huh? Who is a Muslim wanna do that? Volunteerly. Any Muslim, we are waiting for you, my friends. Trust me, Muslims, if Allah is a God, when you speak to me, He will put all the wisdom in your mouth. Oh, sorry, I cannot say that in Islam because in Islam, wisdom does not come in the mouth, wisdom is coming in a dish and installed in the chest. Have you ever heard of a religion believe in such a garbage? That God, he sent the wisdom in a dish and he installed it in the chest of his prophet. Just to let you know, I don't like to share my secrets about how I learned so much about Islam. It's not because I went to school and I have degrees in Islam and I spend my life reading. No. Allah, he sent me a dish of wisdom and the knowledge. And the angel Jibreel, he cut my chest from here to here. Which is almost testicle, and then he ins he washed my chest and my belly, and then he inserted a dish made of gold, full of wisdom and knowledge and faith. Any Muslim have an explanation for this miracle? I mean, is why why the prophet he needed such a such a surgery? Any Abdul? Why none of the Prophet needed a surgery, plastic surgery for his chest and his belly? Let us see. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? I mean, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is amazing. The only prophet who Allah needed to do a plastic surgery, and the plastic surgery is to do what exactly? Is just to install 
wisdom and faith I mean that's astonishing do we have any Abdul around when I say something any Abdul is around Huh? Anyone want to explain why Allah needed to do a plastic surgery for the Prophet? It just and it and it install sorry and install a dish of wisdom and dish of faith. What is the necessity for that? Any Muslim? And look, guys, the surgery. Look how big the surgery is. The two angels, they cut my chest from here to here. He replied, saying, It means that it was open up to the lower part of the belly. Look, what the heck? This is a big surgery. Muhammad is not a qualified to go to heaven unless we install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. Is that where you Muslims getting your wisdom from? Why this is not done to Moses? Did Allah do a surgery for Moses to install a dish of wisdom, a dish of faith in his chest? Did Allah do that to Isa, Muslims? I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? Huh? Uh, let me find you the hadith. About the wisdom, I want to show you the wisdom because I don't want Muslim to say uh, I'm making things up. You know, I want to show you. Okay. And the funny here it says that Allah He took His heart off and He washed it with the water of Zamzam and He put it back. I mean, you are right. <laughs> True story. Huh? Let us see where is the wisdom because translation sometimes they hide it, you know. Yeah, they are hiding it in those translations here. Here we go. We found this one. Read with me, Abdul. Finally, we found something with, with accurate translation. All right. I was brought a basin of gold filled with wisdom and faith. <laughs> Ooh, what? It's filled with wisdom and faith? <laughs> this is the prophet talking? Don't you think, Muslim, this is too much? <laughs> Hello? Yes? UBS? Uh, please, I want to check in my delivery. We order from Amazon a dish of uh, mathematics, a PhD in mathematics, and the PhD in physics. When I will receive it? No, no, it's not a degree. It's a dish. No, no, no. No, they did not. You know, it's a no. It's a it's a dish. It's a dish full of knowledge. Yes, it's made by Allah. No, you don't eat it. No, no, no. You, you no, no. My friend, you don't eat this dish. No, no, no. It's different. It's not a food. You, you are getting me wrong. Listen to me carefully. Give me a time to explain to you. This is a dish made by Allah. 
you cut your chest from here to here which is your testicles do you have testicles you don't okay so you are you are a female sorry because your voices sound like a guy anyway so uh, uh, i think this dish will not work for you because this is work only for those who have testicles you know uh, What's wrong with people? Why you are laughing? What is funny? Allah, he wanted to take Muhammad to the seven heaven, eleven. And obviously, Muhammad is not a qualified to go there. Don't you see those, the, the space guys, what they do for them? Go and watch the space. They, they bring them uh, clothing, uh, helmet. Uh, training okay, so here we go. So they have to be prepared, otherwise, you cannot go to the seven eleven heaven. Where is the seven seas and seven midget? So, Allah, in order to get Muhammad ready for such a long trip mission over a flying donkey with two wings and he was white, <laughs> he need to prepare him. How he prepare him? He cut his chest, he sent two angels. You see, the surgery it cannot be done by a nurse. All right, the surgery is very special surgery. You need a doctor. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with those people. Hold your horses. Hold on. This is a true story. Show respect. I mean, those people are crazy. Anything I say, they laugh. It's like a standalone comedy. You know, whatever he say, the guy in the in the theater, he, they laugh, even though he's saying nothing. So respect. This is the Prophet of Allah. Allah wanna prepare him to go to heaven. What do you think? He will just take him there? No. He have to prepare him. And the, the preparation, the angels, they came to him. Look, he sent two angels, which is making sense. The surgeon and his assistant. Not one angel. This, this surgery is very dangerous. This is why you have to have two angels. All right? But here, actually, in the story, by the way, in the story here, it says the three men. In different place, Muhammad, he lied. He said the two men. <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> hmm. So, based on this story here, shut up, guys, come on. Based on this story, Allah, he sent the three surgeons and they cut the chest of Muhammad. I think what happened exactly, two were holding the hands of Muhammad during the surgery, and one of them was making the cut. That makes sense. So Allah, he sent the three men, huh? and Muhammad, like, he have no idea what's happening. Like, what the heck? What is that? Who are the other guys in the top of me? But Muhammad did not say, don't, like, don't touch me. Muhammad did not say, why you are stripping me off? Look, Muhammad like it. <laughs> you know, I mean, like what the heck? Look what they are doing. This is tickling. <laughs> this is really tickling. This is funny. I feel so happy. Yeah, they are putting their fingers on your chest. Hello, God knows where else. Any Muslim have an idea what's happening? Is that the scientific miracle of the Quran? Is that scientific or this is not? Is that goes under the sands? That God, he installed a dish of wisdom and dish of faith in the chest of his prophet. And the cheater Einstein, I was wondering where he got his intelligence from. Hmm. I was, I always, I thought he is smart, but it, it was fake. He got a dish of uh, special intelligence. So the story getting more complicated. And then he says, one of them who was in the middle, what the heck? He is in the middle? Wow. Actually, I think you guys, you will not understand how serious this is story unless we make it happen for you as if it is happening today. Let us start. When I was in the stage between sleeping and not sleeping, three men, they come to me. One of them was in the middle. 
which means two of them was in the sides. And then I was brought a basin of gold, filled with wisdom and faith. And he slight, slight open from my throat down to my testicles. And you know how much I love my testicles. But this was a very necessary surgery. I mean, that's astonishing. Who of you don't believe yet Muhammad is a prophet? I mean, seriously. After all of this, do you really consider Muhammad not a prophet yet? Are you stupid or what? It's obvious. It's so clear. It's like sun. Look, you can see it. He is three guys. Why three? Trinity? What is that? The God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Who is the? Why three? Muhammad. Why three? Why three? Why three? Are you Trinity guy? Let it go, man. Let it go. Huh? Three. They came to him, and one of them is in the middle. I am so surprised that one of them in the middle. I mean, for sure, one of them is going to be in the middle. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad is super intelligent, unbelievable with details. I can't believe it how much he is in details. So then they cut his chest, they split open. Like, whoosh, whoosh. I think they were, look, look, guys, look at the miracle here in the language. They use the word slit, not split. See, Christian Prince, he was lying, saying split. That's not true. It says slit. Now, do you know why he said slit? Because obviously the angels at that time they were too much in advance long before us and they were using uh, what it's called uh, uh, what they call it uh, a laser Caesar <laughs> so they slit open his chest and then look what they did Allah, he is borrowing water from the water of Zam Zam. Zam 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 Zam. Let's remind me what we 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 you know. So Zam Zam Zam, and then they wash his heart. I mean, you can't believe, you cannot believe how dirty was the heart of the Prophet to the point Allah needed to send. Three angels to clean it. And this is really a new story. <laughs> any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul here? By the way, a Muslim, if you are a Muslim, you can call me anytime. Uh, we are we are waiting for a Muslim to call us to speak about the miracle of the Quran, seriously. But sadly, none of you are there to do it. Because you know that people will die from laughing. I, I promise you, if you call, I will not talk about what we have in the screen right now. No, 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 I will not talk about it. We will focus only in the Quran. Any Muslim is willing to call? If there is any Muslim is willing to call my friend do you know if you call me that Allah will give you a special reward number one according to the Prophet those who do jihad for the sake of Allah Allah will increase the size of their penis so you can imagine my friend <laughs> you know imagine Muhammad saying oh we have a caller hold on hello hello brother hey, I love how, you. how are you I'm fine, man. And you? Why you are please laughing? Please to you, my brother. Please to, please to you. Why you are laughing? I was um, I was looking at something. Um, uh, it's it's okay. I I was looking at something else. Oh, okay. So we are not the ones making you laugh here. All right. That's that's a good news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brother. Yeah. Um, uh, should I um, <laughs> post your link in Facebook that I offer some Muslims for debate? Maybe some Muslims in my um, in my uh, Facebook uh, friend yeah, should yeah. 
Yeah, always. always, always uh, no, Amiro, always Muslims are welcome to come and debate me. You, you know that. I, I do not need really anyone, anyone. I mean, I, they, they don't have to be big or small. It's up to them. They can choose one of them or anyone. You know, they are free to come and call us. We are live on air. Okay. You, Wait, saw, I you, will... you, saw, you saw the video I made about the sexual. You, you sent me a message saying that Muslim says that no, uh, no Muslim scholar teach you can have sex with animals, right? You saw the yeah. video, you see the video I made. Yeah, I, I, I saw the video. Yes. All right. Download it and put it in your page. You know, let them let us see. Uh, but but uh, the the claim of this Muslim was <laughs> that um, an Nawawi um, says that. Um, uh, sexual intercourse with the with the animal is haram, but I, I uh, was um, okay. But I, did, did you did you see in the video where I showed you that it says that it is not going to disturb your Hajj if you have sex with an animal, right? Yeah. So how it is how it how it is not haram how, how it is haram and then sex with animals according to Islam <laughs> if you have sex with your wife in the same page if you have sex with your wife that disturb your your Hajj. So, if you have sex with your wife, which is lawful for you, that disturb and destroy your hajj. But if you have sex with an animal, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was asking myself the, the same question, brother. Yeah, so it's uh, you know, when it, when it is uh, it is haram for you anyway. Why are you teaching something? Yeah, like and why this, you know? I why I need to say like imagine I say to you as if if you are a Christian, it is not lawful for you to do sex with the. With animals, but however, you have to wash after you have it. You know, I mean, what, what the the worry about washing? And they are talking about what? Not sex with animals, sex with with dead man, dead women. Uh, 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 you know, I mean, it's not, it's not about just a wash. So, and the, the whole point is washing. You know, so they are not worried yeah, about uh, she was washed. Or, or what? What about a woman? She is cutting, uh, making a piece of leather, and she is inserting. Beach at penis. Beach at penis. Yeah, uh, Zakran Yeah, Zakran So I don't know what to say. Anyway. <laughs> It's a, it's a, what a, what a, what a beautiful religion. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you left Islam, man. I mean, don't you miss it? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I, I miss a little bit because I was so, uh, um, so, so, you know, how can I explain it to you? It, it was so wonderful for me to live in a lie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, what happened to this guy, the Sheikh from Hezbollah from Lebanon? He wanted to debate me. The big shake. Yeah, yeah. He, he the, um, the 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 woman who um, you was talking with. You uh -huh. remember? Yeah, the one she cried. Yeah, Lebanese uh, woman. She um, offered him for a debate, but he uh, didn't answer yet. You know. Mm, he's afraid. Yeah, he know. He know what will happen. <laughs> I I I I think she uh, uh, said your name. You know. To the sheikh and the sheikh was searching about you who's this christian prince yeah you should not say the name because at the second you say the name they will, yeah. they will not do it mm -hmm. yeah well i don't know anyway uh i hope she will uh, see yesterday, the truth brother brother yesterday i was uh, i had a little discussion with a muslim yeah. and i said to him when you are uh, when you are have the truth with you and you think that islam is the right path and the right uh, faith, then come and step in a debate with Christian Prince. Let us see how you defend your Islam. Yeah, let us see. Come in live debate and uh, ask some questions, and we ask some questions. What's wrong with you? Why you make some 100 comments to say, Oh, I defeated your Christian Prince? I, um, um uh, uh what, what, did, what did he say? Um, he broke, he broke me pieces, maybe. Because this one, yeah, yeah, by the yeah, way, if I show you, if I show you my account in Amazon, number one product I buy is a glue because I glue myself together after each debate. <laughs> you know, I never saw a Muslim. He did not destroy me. All of them did destroy me. How? I don't know. I have no oh, idea. Yeah. Every morning I wake up, I find myself destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, yeah. I will post it right now in Facebook. Yeah, and I offer please. some Muslims yeah, get to me, come. Get, get, get me, get me a Muslim to debate me, and I will contact Allah. You know, I speak Arabic, you don't. I will contact Allah right away for you to increase the number of versions for you as a reward, brother. So, um, I say so, uh, Muslims, brother Christian Prince is now on air. So, Muslim, one Christian Prince is Prince is. Yes. For those who do not know, by the way, Amiro is an ex-Muslim 
he used, you know, he used to believe in Islam and he thought Islam is a good religion and he's born from a Muslim family and then he found the truth and then now he is a great believer, a Christian believer in the Lord. So, you know, uh, that's amazing. And that's why I say to people, don't really, you know, don't, uh, don't hate the Muslims because uh, first of all, we as a Christian, we should not hate anyone. Secondly, uh, you know, tomorrow those people, they can be your brothers and sisters in Christ and they can be amazing Christians, even better than us. You know, we are born in a Christian family. Uh, we did not go through what they went through. So they are better than us because they choose in a hard way to be Christians and they can be really a real fighters for the sake of the truth. You know? Do you think anyone is going to come? I, I maybe you, you, you know why why you are saying Christian no. friends say say uh, you know in order to bring Muslim to the debate, yeah <laughs> you have to practice no, they, you I, have I, to practice taqiyya. <laughs> no, this is this is the faith of Islam. We have we have Christ on our side. Yeah. Mm. You know you know once what what happened in this is in chat room and pal talk, the Muslims are not entering as long as I am in the room. They know it's my room. So they created a room. They told me, let's create a room and we will not put the name of your room there. And after the room is followed Muslims, you just, you know, take the admin hat and to come. So we have like 60 Muslims, their hands is up. Why? Because the admin is a female. Everybody want to debate the female, you know? And the room is full. A lot of Muslims, their hand is up. They want to debate her. They are fighting. And then suddenly they saw my name in the room as an admin. All the Muslims are gone in a second. <laughs> You know, oops, Christian princess. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I, I remember okay, once. Okay, I there, posted. Yeah, there is a there is a, a once we went to a chat room, in the Islamic section, and there was a a, a guy. He's, he they called him Doctor Taharuni. So he claimed to be a doctor in Islamic uh, religion, and uh -huh. uh, I put my hand up, and I said, uh, you know, as you see, I'm a Christian. My name is a Christian prince, and I would like to debate you. So the guy, he was saying, sure. Okay, guys, please invite your friends, etc. Tell everybody, give us five minutes to just to invite everybody. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> he was so happy. And then the text in his keyboard was going crazy. And people in the in the chat room, they say, keep saying to him, brother, brother, this is Christian prince. Brother, don't do what this Christian prince. And we hear the text. In brother, his, brother. Yeah, and we hear that his keyboard is going crazy. And then after that, he said to me, I've been told by the brothers that it's better not to do debate you now. However, I can give you my email and I will send you my response by email. <laughs> <laughs> a second ago, he was excited. He want to invite people to debate mm -hmm. me. And mm -hmm. then a second after, give me, I will send you my email. You know, you can debate yeah. me. They are so sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. we can do. Anyway, maybe we can. But brother. Yeah. Brother, we have we have to make uh, um, we, uh, you have to make a video about the complete corruption of the Quran, in which you um, go in deep um, study in Islam and you uh, show us the show us everything in uh, Islamic sources how they corrupt the Quran from Al Qurtubi and Al Jalalain and every everybody you, you know you know the my sources friend, because if, if i, I want to if i want to make a video about the corruption of the quran that's mean my video is going to be like a thousand year video <laughs> what you are asking for is impossible make, i can make it so short you can <laughs> I, I can make like a, a short topic but anyway i, I mean why i want to make a video about the corruption of the quran if the quran is saying the quran is corrupt yeah the quran of allah is corrupt eh? no quran saying that i mean is it, isn't it the quran saying that allah will take from the Quran, what Shaitan he throw in it? Yes, yes, Surah twenty two verse. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know why I want to prove that it's cor corrupt? If, if we have, if we have an author, <laughs> if we have an author saying that, yeah, Shaitan he put a lot of things here, but don't worry, be happy, I'm going to take it off. Now, this is the verse, guys, in the front of us. It's, it's very well known, actually. Salma Rushdie he wrote about it a book long time ago, and. Uh, uh, you know, he said here what it meant that don't worry, Allah will take whatever shaitan he throw in your mouth, which is Quran, and he will delete it. Now, as long as the, the Muhammadan and the Quran and the, and Muhammad they uh, uh, acknowledge that Quran he gave Muhammad satanic verses, and mm. the verse here saying that Allah will take it. How we can guarantee that this verse itself is not from shaitan? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
if the verse because she, the one who can make, give Muhammad a verse or verses and make him speak them and he bowed down to the idols and he did not know uh, brother brother uh, many many Muslims claim that the um, satanic verses are fabricated fab fabricated story and they bring some um, Muslim scholars and say oh here yeah, this is Daif and what uh, this, is never happened. this is Quran yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, and we have the tafsir of Al Jalalain that he said that um, he bowed down to the three daughters of the moon god, no? uh, in yeah. Surah 22, verse 52. Yeah. Tafsir al Jalalain, even, no? even if there is no Jalalain, there's no Ibn Kathir, there's all no nothing, you know. But the Quran itself in front of us, can they say it's weak? The Quran says that Shaitan he put something and Allah will delete it from the Quran. Yeah, I, I asked the same question what was the words that Allah? Uh, put out what which Satan cast yeah, so, into. So uh, we need to know. What, okay, what, so what is the story? What he what he put in the mouth of Muhammad, and what he? No did. one can answer. Yeah. No, no it's, one. It, it's it says in the interpretation. They try to deny it and say weak, etc. This is just just to, to run away from the topic. But the Quran is a clear proof. They cannot say it's weak. The Quran. Brother, says, brother, why we have to defeat a religion with lies? I never. I. I, I I'm, it's very very uh, hard for me to understand. No, hold on, hold on. Do you know when when they say to you that this is a story is weak? What they are saying? They are saying to you that you are Muslims are lying about Islam. Mm. Because who is the one who wrote those stories? Who is the one who wrote in the book of Ibn Kathir or Jalalain or Qurtubi or Tabari those stories? Muslims. Mm. Is a Jalalain? <laughs> is Al Qurtubi? Is a, a Tabari? Is Ibn Kathir? They, they are, Islam are, they, are they Christians? <laughs> so what they are saying to us? They are liars. Those Muslims are liars. <laughs> You know, we must never lie. <laughs> yeah, we lie a lot. They hate Trump. Yeah. Trump, Trump, he put it there. <laughs> True, this is Trump. Trump, he hates Islam, what? you know, and he hates Islam. Brother, so he, he, he put it. it. Are you telling me that the CIA are not going to able and go back in time 700 years ago and insert some text in the, the Islamic books? Machine. They can do that. Or the Mossad, they can do it. The Mossad, they are very powerful. Actually, actually, one of the greatest. Uh, 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 a scam the Muslim they have anything you give them they say to you Israeliyat you know what does that mean right Israeliyat it's Israeliyat yeah Israeliyat which means it's coming from the Israeli they accuse the Jews that the other okay, one who okay. inserted okay how the Jews were able to insert in the book of a Tabari I mean oh, hello <laughs> and why the Muslims <laughs> in the time of a Tabari did not say this is Israeliyat <laughs> but brother yeah the Kibla was 14 months to Jerusalem huh the, uh, nobody know really the details about how long, but I believe it's many, many years. I, be, I believe Muhammad, he was praying to Jerusalem since the time he came to the city of Yathrib. So it was a long time. And then what happened, brother? Then they then what uh, happened? What happened? That he what was happened? the fourth prophet? Yeah, huh? What happened when Muhammad he noticed first? He, you know, he was able to gain uh, Mecca, and he mm. noticed he noticed that uh, the Jews anyway they will not follow him. So he give mm. up. He give he give up Jerusalem. He was the whole idea. He was trying to convince him that he is a Jew. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you remember the Quran speak about two uh, kind of believers in the Quran, Nasara and the Jewish. However, both of them they are Jews because the Nasara they are a sect of the Jews, not ah. a sect of a Christianity. They are a group of Jews who became they believe in the Messiah, but their own version of the Messiah. So ah. those are the Nasara. Both of them, they are Jews. Both of them. Then those who they like, are, like the Torah Christian today, huh? Yeah, like Jehovah's Witnesses, an example. You know. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, so, so those are, but those are real Jews. Those are not fake. Those are real Jews. Some of them, they became, they believe in the Messiah, but in their own way. This is why the Quran is speaking of Nasara, and it speak of yeah. uh, the Jews. However, both of them are Jews, and Muhammad, he have a. Uh, 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 like he's trying his best to confirm or to, to confirm himself as a prophet to the Nasara and to the Jews who both are Jews anyway and make them believe uh -huh. that he is one of them you know so in the beginning okay. Muhammad he did not mention the, the, the to pray on Friday he was doing the Sabbath the Sabbath uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah this is why he was very clear in the Quran saying that Allah cursed the Jews and he made them pigs and monkeys for breaking the Sabbath so it's very important in Islam to not to break the Sabbath then but, but okay yeah then then uh, you will find that the Quran is speaking about uh, uh, you know uh, that if you are called for a prayer 
mm -hmm. you have to answer even if it is the day of a Friday. Why? Any Muslim can tell me why? You have to answer only if it is a Friday. Why? Who is a Muslim can can answer? Don't, don't you know? Don't any guys? I don't want any Christian if who heard me before to say anything. I want a Muslim to tell me. Any Muslim can say to us even in the text, why Muhammad he make a chapter or a verse in the Quran, is speaking about the day Friday that you have to answer the call of prayer even if it is a Friday. Because a Friday is Saturday. The Jews, uh -huh. the Jews, my friend, the Jews, their day, their day, Saturday, start Friday afternoon. Not, not the same as today, 24 hours, people do. And then now the Jews, nothing changed anyway, you know. So well, the, the Jews, they used to celebrate their Sabbath starting from Friday, and they still enter now, starting from Friday afternoon. So in the day of a Friday, because this is a territory of the Jews and Muhammad he lived with the Jews and he trying to be a Jew People they were not Coming to the prayer because they have to do shopping before the hit of the afternoon Which the sunset time where the Jews will not do any business no more So everybody is doing shopping everybody is buying before the market clothes You know what I mean? And this mm -hmm. is can be found this can be found in chapter 62 verse number 9 if you read it says Oh, who you believe when the call is proclaimed to the prayer on Friday huh? has to what it which means you have to come you have to leave any business you are doing what business what is business why 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 the day of a Friday you know what about the other day Muslims are required to pray every day not correct mm -hmm. why on Friday you have to leave your business what he's talking about because in that day Everybody is busy doing shopping because in the coming 48 hours there is no business to do. It is a Jews, 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 Jews. And brother, brother, brother. Yeah. And Allah transforms some uh, Jews into apes because they go fishing on Sabbath. <laughs> is that right? Actually, eh? This is true, by the way. I have a friend. It is in the Quran. Huh? His name is Jack Shalom. Shalom. He used to be my neighbor. He went in the morning to do fishing. I told him don't do that It was Saturday, you know, and when he came back He opened the door of the truck and he, right away when he put his foot down. I saw a foot of a monkey, you know And I said hey, Jack what's happening? He said what he said look at your foot So he hide his foot right away and he wanted me to see to see that he became a monkey So this is a true story and uh, proving the evolution <laughs> You see the, the funny about about the world is it's some it's, uh, the human being is hilarious the, the atheists they want to prove to you that you used to be a monkey and you became a human the Muslim they want to prove to us that human Became monkeys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You figure it out Do we have any Abdul want to call us? <laughs> Should I uh, um, say something in German maybe uh, uh, sure sure um, um, uh, Guten Abend ihr Lieben ist hier jemand aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum, ein Muslim, der gerne eine Frage stellen möchte? Wenn ja, dann schreibt das bitte in, dein, in dem Text. Dann lese ich das dem Bruder Christian Prince vor. Gottes Segen. All right, let me translate to you guys what he said. He is saying, if you are a German and you like to debate Christian Prince, call us live right now. You know? <laughs> and I dare you. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I say type in the text and I will say to the brother or type it in English or ask your question do, do you know how I, I do you know how I learned German <laughs> okay I will tell you a story but don't tell anyone we are just because just only your friends in Facebook and in YouTube and Twitter only you know one day I was like in the stage between asleep and awake and then three men they come to me and one of them he cut my chest from here to here and he brought with him a dish full of German language and he installed it in my chest and since then I woke up I speak Chinese <laughs> Unbelievable you see the story in front of us. I don't know if you can see it in the screen Muhammad he claimed that three angels they came to him and they cut his chest and they have oh, yes, I know. Oh, yeah, yes. and have, have a dish and the dish is full of faith and wisdom 
I don't get I don't mm. I, I mean why he this guy is so lucky man to the point even faith and wisdom came to him in dishes I spend my life studying my heart my eyes are hurting brother, you know? brother, brother. till today I never uh, understand how Muslims can follow a sinner and not follow Jesus who never commit a sin you know Jesus was not with sin and Muhammad was with sin he, he was a sinner absolutely um, the Quran, the Quran chapter 48 verse 2 or yeah the Quran says that not only that Allah mm -hmm. he forgive Muhammad uh, you know he said may Allah forgive thee for your past and commit sin which means even forgiveness of Muhammad mm -hmm. is not guaranteed it's, it's, it's the Quran is a stupid uh, shish kebab book it's yellow pages but brother brother yeah is that true that every Muslim uh, uh, will go the first uh, into the hell well there is you know or, uh, okay hold, hold on hold on I want you to do mm. I want you to do something you speak Persian and you can read right do you, do you know how to read the, the no I, no I don't can read Persian. really because there is something really? you can you can find yourself because you you know if you if you know the language maybe your parents mm. can read for you okay, there, you can send it in, in Skype with a link yeah I, anyway there is you know the 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 Quran speak about something is called a sirat Sirat, yeah. A sirat, yeah. When you pray, the the Al Fatiha says, al Yeah, the way, yes. All right. The way. The sirat, the sirat, is a belief of the Persian. The Persian and the the Zoroastrian, they have their own in their religion that there is a way in the heaven, and the, the way to heaven, and that is a bridge, and that a bridge where people they will be like examined. That is saying, uh, you know, it's like a filter machine. You know, like you know, where you have a potato. <laughs> Big potato, <laughs> small potato go down in the screen. <laughs> potato and Big potato. Tomato. <laughs> yeah, so it's like a potato machine, you know, to make size to, to, to separate between small potato and big potato. <laughs> so suppose that a small potato will fail down in the fire, and the big potatoes they will stay. So Muslims, the Muhammad he took. Remember, one of the great source of information about the people of Iran, about their religion, is Salman al Farisi. And Muhammad, ah, yes, yes. he used to spend the whole night with Salman al Farisi to the Farisi to the point Aisha. She said, We were jealous, his wives, we were jealous that Salman al Farisi became more important to the Prophet more than us. For he spent time and because he was his inspiration. Uh, huh? So he used to tell him his stories, and Muhammad he hijacked his stories and he added in the Quran. Wow. So the, the, the Sirat, etc., all those things is coming from the Zorcian uh, religion. And Muhammad he copied it and he put it there, including the genie. The genie, yes, yes. including mm -hmm. including the, the 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 version. You see the the hur, you see the hur, uh, in the in the Zardish religion, there is women who they are uh, 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 having a creature. They are women, female women. They are so beautiful, and they are white too, and they are even <laughs> even using the same word hur. So Muhammad he oh. took exactly he took exactly from the from the Persian, their religion and he put it in the Quran Muhammad, this, this is what Muhammad do he took some from the Christian some from the Jews some from the Hindu mm -hmm. some from the Persian. he stole everything huh? he took from everybody he took some from uh, those who worship Baal some of those who worship uh, the other gods etc the Kaaba from the Arab the black stone from the Arab so his religion mm -hmm. is a collection of religions and that is supposedly what is going to make Islam even the word Islam he started from the guy he killed them <laughs> Even the word Rahman, he stole from the one he killed him, the one who claimed to be a prophet, and he called himself Rahman. Uh, and, and you know the funny, the Muslim they say to us that we are, you know, how many times you heard the Muslim saying the word Hanif? You know what Hanif, right? Hanif. Hanif. Yeah, what Hanif mean? Do you know? It's from Abu Hanif. I, I no, think. no, no, Abu Hanif, Hanif is a name. Yeah, but Hanif is supposedly the Muslim they give themselves the name Hanif. When they speak about he like he is a person who believe in one God, so they say ah, okay. Al Islam al Hanif. What does that ah. mean? Th this is the, this is a religion of oneness in the, we believe in oneness of God, you know. But Muhammad okay. he killed he killed the people of Hanif, <laughs> you know. The Muslims they killed the people who worship one God. Hello, you hear me, brother? I'm here. Yes, okay, I hear you, brother. If you lose connection, always read Quran. Is going to fix it. <laughs> there is no question. Do we have any? Do, Brother, did you get me any 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 German when I debate me anything? No, I I ne uh, don't read anything about um. You know, German you, you should to... you should next time next time when you call me, 
you should do a live podcast on your Facebook and people they can hear us why you don't do it right now as long as you are on air and make a challenge for the Abdul maybe they can come yeah when I posted in Facebook now you we have 145 uh... No, no, no. Do, um, you can do live podcast. You can do live podcast talking to me. You can do live podcast in Facebook uh -huh. while you are talking to me. And then all the people on Facebook, they will see your, your broadcast live. And maybe they can, uh, you know, we can, we can make some Muslims excited to debate us and make us shish kebab. Yeah, but I have, I don't have some, um, what, what it's called. Um, it's okay. It's an idea. If you, like, if you like to do it, you know, it's uh, it's uh, uh, maybe tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow no. night uh, when you are online. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, any any time you want, you know, uh, you can call me and you can make yourself mm -hmm. on, uh, live mm -hmm. in uh, in Facebook, and let the people you know uh, join us. And maybe they can give you questions even in German, and you can translate for me, and we can yes, answer them. Yes. You know. But uh, my point uh, from the um, thing that I said to you with the hell that every Muslims go. Uh, the first in hell because the surah 19 verse 70 to 72 mm. speaks about the muslims that they go uh, to to hell right only the jihadi who fight for the cause of allah will enter the paradise safely yeah yes woman well, the quran says not even a single one of you but he is going to enter it he will enter it all right so what will happen that after they enter it, uh, Allah will, uh, will will fry them for some time, like shish kebab, you know, and, and then and then <laughs> and and then after that, He will save some of them, and He will let the let the rest, uh, you know, uh, be fried. However, all of them they will be fried, but uh, mm. the 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 one who died doing jihad, uh, Allah will mm. give him a chance. To intercede for seventy people of his uh, of his people, seventy people ah, yes, of yes. hell. You know, mm -hmm. so if uh, according to the hadith, the second the 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 one who doing jihad, he shed his blood, like he's dying now, he's not dead. The second he do that, right away Allah will show him uh, five or six things. Some hadith says seven, and one of them okay. is that like, he will show him his place in heaven. He will show him the versions he will is going to have sex with. And he will show him the people he will intercede for them, etc. You know, uh, and mm -hmm. he, he will not go through the hellfire bridge. Yeah. However, the Quran chapter 19, verse number 71 says, Not even a single one of you, but he shall enter it. Enter what? Enter hell. Wow. That means Allah uh, decides who was a good Muslim or who was a bad Muslim and no, no, no. bring it out. There's no good hell. Muslim, there's no bad Muslims. All of them they will enter hell. However, the idea is more simple. That those who do jihad for my sake and they die for my sake, they will not. Uh, they will. They are exception. So the 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 exception is only for those who do jihad and they die in the jihad. Not only they die, they do jihad. You have to die. So if you join okay. Al Qaeda, if you join Al Qaeda and you fight uh, for the sake of Allah, but you did not die, then you still you are not getting the exception. You have to die for the sake of Muhammad. And this mm -hmm. is what chapter nineteen, verse number seventy-one, saying. And if any Muslim here is listening, he said it's not true. I can show what you write to you in the front of your screen. You know, this is here we go. This is a tafsir. We go here. We are not going to give our inter our interpretation. We never do that. We go by what Muslims believe. All right, read with me. There is not even one, but shall come to it, and he shall enter hell. Do you see it, Muslims? You see it in front of you in the screen. Not even not even one And based on this Muhammad himself he will go to hell because Muhammad did not do jihad and he did not die in jihad Wow, you know The verse is so clear and this is the interpretation you can change the interpretation if you want So all of you Muslims <laughs> you are going to be a barbecue <coughs> However by the way but but, uh, but, but but you can my, my brother. You, you can call me and I will uh, I will you know you can purchase a fan because I, I'm planning to open a, a fan a fan store in the bridge, you know just to uh, to make, brother, it, brother, make the heat less. Brother, uh -huh. <laughs> but Muhammad said I wish that I have more life that 
I will die and come back to life again and die as a martyr and come back to life again and then die and then come back to life again and come die. <laughs> right, right. You know, he like it, you know, but uh, so he can get more reward. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what what a teaching, huh? What a peaceful teaching to, my, to his followers, no? Well, uh, you know, this is how he fooled them. And, uh, you know, he's been smart. He, he did how many people die for the sake of this idiot, making them believe they will get virgins and they got nothing but screwed. You know? Wow! Yeah, imagine, imagine you can make a, a whole army, and you, you don't need even to pay them, and they die for your sake. Wow! You know, and the promise is a uh, you know virgins in the heaven. Imagine I make you like forget about doing jihad. You work for me all your life, and then the promise is I will pay you after life virgins, and like you are happy. Say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Prophet. Thank you, peace upon you, peace upon you. I will build a house for you, brother. Okay, I will build a house. I will give you my car. <laughs> I will give you my money. I will give you everything you have. Even if you want my wife, you can take my wife, brother. Okay, you know, just take me to heaven. And then, Amen. yeah, and I, 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 even in the Quran, Muhammad, he took the they took their wives. He took their wife literally. You know, so Muhammad, mm -hmm. he is like a devil, who is uh, focusing in taking whatever they have, their money, their wealth, their women, and they make them die for him, and he is enjoying life, and they die, and they believe. Wow. He made them believe until now that if they go and do jihad, they will they will they will go to heaven, and Allah will make their penis endless. And you know this wow. is this is the only miracle Muhammad he can come with. This is is the idea of endless penis. <laughs> I mean, there's nobody in the world can defeat this guy with his logic. Endless penis. Imagine you live here, but your penis is in the seven eight galaxy. Imagine, guys. You install a camera, 4K camera, in the top of your penis, and your penis is flying in the galaxies, in the space. You can imagine how beautiful the YouTube will be if you can make such videos every day, and you do live broadcast. How many millions will watch? Hmm? Do we have any Abdul? Do we have any Abdul here is interested that Allah will bless him with long penis? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed. I thought today I will get many Muslims to debate me and they will make me shish kebab, but I know what's happening. No, uh, brother, I will uh, call you uh, immediately back. All right, no problem. Actually, maybe a Muslim can call us. Let us give them a chance to call if there's a Muslim on a call. Maybe they're trying to call us. Any Muslim want to call me? No, Amiro is calling back. Yes, Amiro. Yeah. Mm. I have a little problem here with my internet. You see, the, the, the genies are trying to disturb you. <laughs> Yes, the devil. Do you know? Do you know that the only prophet in the world who said genie he sleep in your nose is the prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. <laughs> and let me tell you a story. Once my mother, when I was a kid, she opened the door of my bedroom and she saw two feet coming from my nose. <laughs> and, she, say, Mashallah. and she screamed. She said, "What? What the heck is that? Who is in your nose?" And then we dig, we dig, we found nothing but boogers. And he Muslim really believe in this garbage? Do you really believe in Muhammad saying that shaitan he sleep in your nose? Brother, brother, there is a, 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 a hadith which, which says that uh, uh, Satan fought when he, when he hears the adhan. Eh? Yeah, and this is true, by the way. Oh, yeah. This is explain why the Middle East smells so bad. I mean, <laughs> think about it, you know? <laughs> I don't really know. But I mean... <laughs> This is a this is an amazing religion. It's a you know I mean it's amazing what I can say. Um, and the Muslims say to us Christians, "Oh, your Bible is a fairy tale. This is is a, is a book full of." Um, yeah, because because listen, listen. Stories. According to science, they prove that they install like uh, a high uh, definition cameras uh, in the top of a nose of a million Muslim, and they found that Shaitan. He piss in your ear in their ears and he sleep in their nose. This is true. It's it's a proven by science. There's a scientist from Japan, his name, Yama I do lie Yama. Very well known. <laughs> this yeah, his uh, his name is start with Yama, but end with I lie. 
uh -huh. it's a you know like you know yamaha yamo yeah yeah you know yeah 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 yahoo yeah, 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 you know so uh look look what muhammad he said the allah messenger sawbm b m 600 said when one of you wakes up from his sleep he must blow his nose three times <laughs> What the heck three time why three time for satan spend the night inside one of his nostrils <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on so my mom she did lie to me because she said she saw two foot coming from my two nose uh, holes here it's muhammad saying he's sleeping one one of them unbelievable i'm going to call my mom uh -huh. question her about that so you see muslims shaitan he sleep on your nose and in order to get him out you have to blow your nose at three times. Okay, why three times? Why three times? You, you think Shaitan would go loose when three times? What about four? Why why Shaitan he will not get out with two? <laughs> you know everything is based on three, huh? Everything is based on three. And yet the Muslim they say the Christians believe in the Trinity, but you, <laughs> you cannot you cannot defeat even the Shaitan in your nose without doing it three times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by the way, Muslims, why Shaitan will sleep in your nose? I mean, look, Shaitan is so powerful, and he is invisible, and he can sleep in a five stars hotel, and he can have a nice jacuzzi, and he don't pay a dime. And why he wanna play sleep in your nose? I mean, what's wrong with well, the Shaitan? Brother, brother, brother. Hmm. Uh, some Muslim claim that is this metaphorical, you know? Ah, uh, metaphorical. Okay, metaphorical. no problem. I want them to explain to me the metaphorical of Shaitan sleeping in your nose. <laughs> Is your ear. is it blowing the nose three times metaphorical? No, it's physical. Mm -hmm. You know, Muhammad he says he must blow off his nose three times for shaitan spend the night inside one of his nostrils. You see it, one of them. He's not saying even both. <laughs> and Abdul, is there a Muslim in the room who would like to ask questions? Der dem Bruder gerne ein paar Fragen stellen möchte, der eine kleine Debatte führen will. Wenn ja, dann melde dich bitte. Schreibe etwas in dem Kommentarbereich oder schreibe mir auf Facebook oder so. Dann organisiere ich das. Gottes Segen. Ja, yeah, let me translate for them what you are saying. You are saying to the German people, you can follow us on Facebook and about what Christian Prince show if you like to, to share and give it a like. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So what about a? What, yeah, you're good. What about what about Shaitan? He he pee in the ear of the Muslims. Is that <laughs> is that scientific? This is how Muhammad explained the wax in the ears. I mean, this is amazing. How Muhammad he knew this? Any Muslim knows? Is that metaphorical? Is that metaphorical or this is literally? This is literally. But in order to to avoid the embarrassment, they say it's a metaphorical, but it's not. Look at it. Uh, mention uh, was one etc. Blah 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 blah. That Shaitan he urinate in his ears. Like, what? Mm -hmm. You know, that man in whose ear Shaitan has urinated. <laughs> you can imagine. I wish I can make a cartoon of Shaitan urinating in the ear of Abdul or Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali is asleep or Zakir Naik, and his ears is so big, and then uh -huh. Shaitan. <laughs> Ah, now I understand why. <laughs> if you look at the ears, actually, they look like a toilet seat. That makes sense. You know, there's a hole. It's brother, like, brother, it's like a sink, yeah. Brother, why uh, Zach and I never step in a debate with David Wood or uh, some other debater? Well, like the, uh, I don't know. He will but, never step in a debate, no? Yeah, but I mean, David Wood is not really. Uh, you see, uh, uh, Zachary Naik, he can play with David Wood easy because David Wood, uh, he, he is his knowledge in his time is limited, you know, and he don't speak mm -hmm. Arabic and he don't, you know, even if you learn Arabic, uh, still they can play around, you know, because you cannot really mm -hmm. argue about mean of words, etc. Those people mm -hmm. they debate only if they knew they can make it, and mm -hmm. if if there is any kind of possibility that the debater can beat them, they will not get close to him. So I believe that there's no reason for Zachary Naik not to debate Zach, uh, David Wood, because still David Wood, he have a normal argument and he can get him, he cannot get him busted really, for a very simple reason, he don't speak Arabic. Zachary Naik, as yes. an example, when, when Zachary Naik, a Muslim woman, a woman, she asked him, uh, why, uh, 
why the women she why Quran says uh, the man he will have 72 who and the yes, woman the have, video, you make yeah, video about what, it. what he said he said oh in the word who brother sister, the word who is not mean uh, it's a parallel word you know if he if he said that to me I will I will make him shish kebab but if he said that to David Wood, he cannot answer him you know so uh, because in order to answer such a thing you have to be a person who knows really what the Quran is saying very well not certain verses and you have to know Arabic uh, so the Muslims always let us say they choose they want to wrestle with who if it is mm -hmm. possible for you even like you have 50% chance that you can beat them they will not do it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, they are smart people you know this is why Shabir Ali he ran away from debating me mm -hmm. so but he, he did not hesitate to debate uh, David Wood many times you know? yeah, because because you know who you are yeah but I'm, what I'm saying I'm saying, what I'm saying debate, yeah, he, he, he know, know my friend he know that David Wood he will say what he learned from English text and that mm. can be easy play with so he have a limited uh, let us say argument and he knew exactly what David Wood is going to say in the debate he said what he said mm -hmm. yesterday but if he debate me he cannot there's no expectation he do not know what the surprise is going to be yeah you know there's a surprises here so you speak mm -hmm. to me you call me yesterday you call me the day after the day after you will hear something you did not hear yesterday but the others it's the same thing they are saying for years because they learned only what they can hand put their hands on mm -hmm. and even that mm -hmm. like how you will learn about Islam as an example you remember the hadith you told me about uh, Muhammad uh, the Muslims they were saying we are lying about Muhammad killed the believer yes okay and the Muslim they say they are he's lying right so they can lie yes. and they can say it's not true but now how you can find out if this is true or not if you don't find the book in your language Arabic to yes. show you the story this is can be found only in Arabic so they can say to you you are lying they can say to the other guy you are lying what his name Elijah whatever and they can say that to everybody but they cannot play that with me so why they don't call mm. me right now and challenge me to show them the hadith because he's scared he knows that you yeah. know so, everything but, about but, Islam. But, the, but the point is 99.9999 percent of the Islamic books is not in English is not in German is not in any language it is in Arabic so mm -hmm. they can they will never translate yeah, yeah. It, no? which mean you are going to debate the Muslims with one percent you have in your language you know what I mean Wow. Mm -hmm. ten years ago or more than ten years when I used to debate Muslims everybody knows if you go in my old uh, videos you will see that I used to use only Arabic for there was no Sahih al-Bukhari in English <laughs> okay like now I'm showing you on the screen in English that was a luxury when I started the debate in the Muslims I we don't have this even though the translation is false still I can use it and I'm using it because they cannot say to me this is your translation so uh, what you have about Islam in your language is very limited this is why books like mine in different languages like now I don't know if you if you know that I have my book in Dutch already out do you know that yeah, I know. I know. Uh, yeah. It came for um, uh, yesterday or a few days. Yeah, a few days um, ago. Yeah, yeah, a few days ago. People do not know about it yet. So, if you can post it in your Facebook too, so people will know. Those who speak mm -hmm. uh, Dutch, uh, is is Dutch is close to, too much close to the German? Uh, yes, it's um, 50, 50 kilometers from here. No, no, I mean the language. The, the language, like I learn. Uh, no, the language is a little bit um, different. Huh? The mix, yes, mix between English, <laughs> German, and uh, other stuffs. <laughs> so, sound like sound like Islam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> I'm not making fun of the Dutch language of people. No, I'm saying about how mixed it is. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Anyway, uh, so you know, this is this is why my books are important to be translated in many languages, because you have a very limited resource in your hand. To debate Muslims and everything you have even when we go right now in this website to read what about Muhammad saying you will see how how they fabricate a translation mm. always they lie this is why I'm uh, promote your book in Germany yeah. because it's the very important book that we have that we should have at home at, at our homes you know to study it in, in depth 
and soon we will have I, I hope the second book you know we are working in it so we will have two books in German that will be good and right. I'm working in a book about Islam and sexuality and I hope somebody will help us in translation too mm -hmm. uh, but but all everything you see in my book uh, maybe most maybe 80% to 85% is something you cannot find in English you know, mm -hmm. the, re the, re the reason is very simple because Islam is not based in any language except Arabic, and uh, yeah. the the translation of Islam is a new, let us say, uh, it's something new. You know, it was not really like there is all the translation exists long time ago about Islam, but there are limited books about Islam, and uh, people they were not even given attention for those books. But mm -hmm. uh, if you remember the story of Salman Rushdie. The book of Salman Rushdie is not really a big deal. I don't know if you have it. It's not too much knowledge there. It's not, you know, but it was it became famous because of the stupid Muslims. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's lucky actually. I wish the Muslims they was they make a strike in Iran. Millions of them go against my book, you know. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, by the way, do you know that the Iranian TV they choose my video to talk about it? No. Well, they choose it from all the videos. Supposedly, the program is about Isl Islamophobia. All right. So from all the videos on YouTube, they choose my video <laughs> to present the Islamophobia in YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you know, because when I started, you know, there is a few. What a promotion. Yeah, there's nobody actually, you know, even, uh, you know, speaking against. Now. I mean, all the names you know right now, those are not exist. You know, they are not exist, literally. They are not exist to fight Islam. They never make a video about Islam. They have no idea even what Islam is about. So when I start doing uh, uh, fighting this cult, most of the names you hear about today, they have zero knowledge about Islam. Actually, before 9-11, before 9-11, nobody care to listen for a second about Islam. Mm -hmm. I remember when I start <clears throat> opening a chat room in Paltok, I open, uh, 10 people come, 20, you know, some people have a questions, they leave, etc. 9-11 happened. I have 200 people in my chat room. <laughs> 200, which means the room is full because Palto can take only 200. Then I upgraded at that time. You said until now, actually, you can upgrade. And I got a, 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 a they used to have a, a, like a package, it's called a club, which means you can have up to 300 people in your room. So I, wow. I, I, I upgraded and the 300 was totally full too. But I can't afford to upgrade for more because you have to pay money for it. Uh -huh. But but if you ask yourself why people they came, it's not because they are really interested. It was because of 9-11. They are not interested of learning. They never interested. Uh -huh. But now because uh -huh. Osama bin Laden, he did something, suddenly everybody is looking and seeing what this religion is about. Uh -huh. And until now, actually, and then now, if 9-11 never happened, all those people that you see, they are listening to me, they will not be here. Yes, yes. This is the truth, you know, sadly. So pe hmm. pe people, sadly, will, yes. people will not, and not only that, after 9-11 happened, those liberals, they start defending Islam and say, those don't, don't present Islam because they are together in the bed, you know, the, 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 the left and the, 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 the Muslims, they are in love because both of them, they are lost. So you will find mm -hmm. a huge wave in the media defending Islam. Islam is a peaceful religion. Those people don't present. They love to attack Christianity, but all of them, they were def you know, defending Islam. And until now, they defend Islam. Nothing changed. The, mm -hmm. there, is, there, is a, there is a woman in France. She uh, uh, she was stabbed by a terrorist eight times. If you remember when they start stabbing people in the street last time, she was stabbed eight times. And this woman, they have uh, as I uh, heard about her she used to call anyone attack Islam Islamophobia <laughs> and she posted in Twitter and in Facebook and blah 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 you know which mm -hmm. means people like me for her we are bad we are disgusting we are hate hatred people we are racist I mean what racist <laughs> are you about? and she was killed by a terrorist and he stabbed her eight times and she was a breadnet you believe it? Wow. I mean, how stupid people can be more than this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you defend them to death, literally, because of your ignorance. 
so yes. so you know I, I struggle for a long time to make people listen people will not believe how much struggle I have actually the first time I opened a chat room in Pal talk every Christian not a single one did not go against me mm. Jesus did not teach us to, to teach hate right away they, they, they even <laughs> Christian they say I'm not the teaching hate I'm saying I'm saying to you what they teach what they believe in so the Christians mm -hmm. they were against me Christian uh, ministers they were against me uh, you, you know you will not believe it once I was kicked literally from a church literally <laughs> I, I, I'm you know I'm serious you know a, a guy he invited me he said there's today there's a bishop is going to talk about Islam and I know that this is your topic so you want to come so sure and he said to me please 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 don't do anything so sure, sure. <laughs> Now I sit and I'm listening and the bishop start making shish kebab. You know, this guy is, is this guy is not a bishop. This guy he own a falafel store, obviously. So he starts saying Muslims are not are, are like us. They believe in the same God. They believe in oh, okay, Abraham, yeah. etc. Like blah 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 blah. And then I could not take it no more. And the guy is holding my hand. He knew I cannot take it. He, he looks, he's looking at me, you know. He's and I could not take it no more. So I put my hand up and I said. Can you tell me where you guys from? Where you got? Where you got that the Arab and Muhammad is from Ishmael? Where you got that the Muslims believe in the same God? Where do you get this? Can you show me a reference? Can you? you know? He said, "No, it's not time for a question. Put your hand, put your hand down." I said, "I'm not asking you a question. I'm challenging you to show me where you are bringing those lies." You know. <laughs> And right away, and couldn't answer. everybody was looking at me. The, the church was so silent, so quiet, and everybody is looking. And then two guys they came to me and said, "Sorry, please don't leave. You better leave." And blah blah blah. blah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then what? After what happened, they asked me to leave. And outside, they said to me, "Please leave. Uh, you know, you know, you, you will not be allowed. If you came back, you will be trespassing. We will call the police for you." So what I did, I went to home and I printed all the papers I have in my place. Uh, about reference to prove that he's a liar this bishop. He's not a bishop of Christ He's a bishop of a devil and I went back and I found two kids in the street And I told them I will give you five dollars for now and five dollars later everyone come out of the church You give him a paper <laughs> <laughs> So the kids were happy they got my papers. I have like not that many really I, I this is the uh, I, I like uh, all the papers I have and they start mm -hmm. giving uh, you know brochures or let us say the one I printed for the people but imagine how much struggle I had in order to convince even Christians that Islam is an evil disgusting religion and until now actually like now you know you tell the Christians who is going to invite us to talk, to teach about Islam hardly you can find somebody when I invite why mm -hmm. because the Christians uh, uh, you know they they don't want to face the devil face to face Mm -hmm. They want to play safe, you know. They want to. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. because yeah, this, yeah, is, this yeah. is this is an because evil. This is an evil, violent religion. So let us stay away from the from the. You know, this is very dangerous. So we will not do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, but still, you know, God is good, and you know. Sometimes, uh, brother, I, I say uh, truthful to you. Sometimes, I by myself. Um, sometimes I'm very scared. Uh, what happened? But. Um, because I make it open with with everything, and I show my face and everything, yeah, you know. know. And when yeah, yeah Islam is very, very, you, very hard. And you are an ex-Muslim too, you know. Uh, this is additional thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and sent to death, you know. Yeah, but this, it, that, but, but this, this is how mean that, this is how the, mm -hmm. this is the truth, you know. The truth is, many people decide to avoid speaking about this religion not because they are convinced it is good. They knew it's ugly. They knew it's disgusting, but it mm -hmm. is dangerous. You know? Yeah, I have to. I have to open my mouth uh, yeah. about this faith. You know, we have a duty. This is not religion. We have a duty. If we don't do it, who is going to do it? You know, God. Yes. God is watching, and one day we will stand in the front of Amen. Him, and He will say to you, uh, and He will say to me, "You know it. So why you keep your mouth uh, shut? You don't want to yes. say. You know, we we. You know, I am not afraid of. Uh, we will die anyway. I'm going to die tomorrow, today, next year, ten years. Who cares? I mean, I, I'm, we will die. There is nobody will stay alive. Nobody, nobody. All of us we will die. Mm. It's better to mm. die with honor and dignity, and to die with with the truth, defend, as a defender, as a warrior of the of the truth, warrior of Christ, from dying like a dog. 
Amen. You know, afraid and you know, putting your tail between your legs because uh, you know, uh, you know, the Muslim they say to me, "Why you don't show your face?" Uh, I will tell you why. And the next, next, and the next uh, after after uh, in January, I'm leaving the country, and I'm I I'm not going to say where. I'm going to go to some countries. If they knew I am a Christian prince, I will never be allowed to enter. So mm -hmm. I can do my mission, I can do my work. And I can do everything in the same time. I love it. Actually. It's like a vacation for me to be honest with you, you know, mm. I love I love what I do you see for me. It's not a work It's a, something I have a passionate for you know, what I mean I enjoy it When you love mm -hmm. when you love what you do is not the same as when you are doing something just you have to do I love to see someone like just Today I showed them in the screen a Muslim. He was saying to me. I used to listen to you and I made fun of your accent and uh, etc. You know, I used to be a Muslim, but I could not disapprove you, and now I am not a Muslim no more. That's that's that <laughs> mean a lot to me. Hallelujah. You know, yeah. So mm -hmm. you you know you you will be discriminated, you will be hated, you will be mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know uh, people they will have a wrong judgment of you. Let them do whatever they do. I'm happy with myself. Who care? I never taught hate. Today we started our talking. I was talking to you, right? I said this is why we should not hate the Muslims. Why? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they are victims, and we are here yes. not to hate them. We are here to save them. And here we go. The example is our brother Amiro. He's talking to me right now. Yesterday, or let's say years ago, he was a Muslim himself. So if you don't show him the love of Christ, why he want to be a Christian? Why he want to choose to be a Christian? If we are the same as mm -hmm. Islam, if we are hateful people, if we want to do violence, if we want to kill, so what the point of him leaving Islam? He will be an atheist. You know, so we are messengers of the Messiah in this earth, and we are allowed to enjoy our life. And but the best joy for you, if you are really a Christian, is to be serving God. Amen. You know, and how you serve God? God, you know, He gave you the example how you do it. He gave us an investment. He gave us. A, he gave us a brain. He gave us life. He gave us. A, a, uh, uh, whatever we have is, is a gift of God so either you invest it and you come back to him with more Christians or you come back alone and you say I save no one that's mean you were lazy I mean it doesn't doesn't make sense that you live uh, let us say a person he live an average of 70 years and then 70 years and you you could not make one person believe in Christ I mean this is a shame mm. you know what I mean uh -huh. You know how you can how you can really uh, imagine you, you have you work you work in for someone, and this one is an amazing person. He's very very patient, and he gave you seventy years of your life to do just to bring him one person, just one, and then you can uh -huh. just yourself what you were doing building a house, buying a new car, going <laughs> vacation, you know watching TV, yeah. So like me and you now, why we are here? We can go and watch a movie. Yes. You know why I want to spend my time here? What what the point? And many many Muslims said to me, "Oh, you are so hateful. Why you speak always about Islam?" I, I said to him, uh, uh, "Do you know that I came from an Islamic background? <laughs> I even can't speak about Bud Buddhism or Hinduism. I, I was a Muslim, you know. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm speaking about Islam, and I try to um, tell you that." Islam is not this what you're thinking about of, of this religion You have to study it and you have to know what what really Islam teaches, and not what the brainwashed uh, Imams and sheikhs tell us Because they they can lie to us, you know, but then they don't want to listen to me and And my work I want to make my work uh, for some few people. I know that I know you see uh, uh, that uh, Amiro, I, Let me tell you they might say to you. We are not listening, but the fact they are listening all Muslim, yes. all Muslim, they say uh -huh. we don't listen to you. We will not believe you, and you are a liar. But then you find that this guy he left Islam, you know. So they, it's it's normal. Like, and this is why, like today, we are talking about the miracle of the Quran. Why the wave of this false claim flood the internet? Because Muslims, they knew that they have a stupid prophet, filthy one, <laughs> idiot child molester and the only way to convince people that he is something to listen to is to fabricate what it's called Quran miracle and we are waiting here for the last three hours challenging any Muslim to call us 
live on air and show me one scientific miracle in the book of the Quran and they don't dare to do it why because they knew it's a lie otherwise they will be so happy I, I mean cannot you show us one miracle look how many website four and four million four of, of, and, and four hundred four hundred thousand post about the Quran miracle but not a single Muslim can show me one of them if we open right now any Muslim website speaking about the miracle of the Quran we will laugh we will die from laughing so who is the Muslim when I call me right now about the Quran miracle why are you Muslims so proud about it only by speaking to those who do not know Islam and when we challenge you you are so mute miracle mm -hmm. of the Quran you know don't force me to start reading one by one and we will laugh like the miracle of number 19 who want to challenge me about miracle of number 19 I, I just open one I click at the website it says miracle number 19 who want to debate about it I will make you shish kebab in less than 60 seconds <laughs> promise not 60 hours 60 seconds any Abdul no one is here. Everybody's scared, brother. No, they, they knew it's a lie. They knew it's a lie. They knew it is nothing but... No one will step in a debate with you because you know so much about Islam and they, but they are no, so the, the, the major, The major, not only because I know, they knew that they are lying. You see? If I know and what they have is a truth, still they can make it, right? Mm -hmm. no, knowing knowing about something will not make you really powerful mm -hmm. but knowing their I lies I know their lies this is the point you know they knew mm -hmm. I know their lies I they, the fear is not about me knowing they the fear is about me knowing them lying mm -hmm. this is why they avoid speaking about it but they made articles thousands and millions and books and scientific miracle brother go and type in YouTube the science and the Quran you will find endless videos not even and one again make a book about it eh, brother I made a book absolutely I actually two of my books both of them they speak about Quran and science and depth huh? yeah Quran and science and depth and the other one deception of Allah both of them actually they, both of them they 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 show how stupid not only that they are it's a lie they show you that it is a, you know it's a stupid you know it's not right. only it's a lie it's just, it's just a stupid but uh, you know if you do not <sighs> if you do not know this is why I said to you like when Shabir Ali was debating David Wood he mentioned to him the miracle of number 19 but can he uh, yes, can yes. can he dare to speak about it in the front of me he would not never you know so uh, you know when 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 you the, are the when, answer of Shabir Ali was so amazing about um, the the guy who asked him why you're not debating uh, Christian Prince the one mil million dollar question yeah when you step in a debate with Christian Prince and then um, uh, yes uh, Christian Prince is maybe a, a, a bigger one for me and I don't know uh, something like him and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we know we know what you know uh, you know what we are not in the same league and you know yeah he will not he will never do it he, he's you know he's he, we have to admit he's smart he knew if he debated me he will be tortured he will lose his career so those people they search about you they find who you are and uh, this is the mistake of the ABN when they offer him to debate me they told him why yeah they should not if not he will be happy he will be in a rush to debate me this is why he keep debating the same people you know over and over you have no problem to debate James White anytime you have no problem to debate uh, David with 10 times because David would he will print some document from the computer in front of him, which is everybody knows what he will say. Muhammad, he have sex with a child. She is Aisha. He knew that already. I mean, it's not really something big deal. There's no surprises. Everything those Christians they would come with, the American Christians, it is not a secret. I mean, you know, we know what they would say. We know exactly. He knew exactly what the question is going to be, and he knew exactly what he should say. There's no surprises. Mm. What what Muslims they fear that you come with something they do not know, and something they are not prepared for, and that can happen with someone who knows Islam very well, and someone who speak a language of Islam.
American person. He have certain knowledge. He grabbed from the internet. He grabbed from what Muslim translate. And how he can mm. fight Islam with Muslim translation? That would be very hard, you know. Muslims when they translate always, they they fabricate translation. So how I'm going to fight Islam with the Muslim translation? This is why I always I say I don't accept really any Islamic translation. I use it just an additional tool to get Islam busted because then they cannot say, well, he is lying, even though the Muslim translation is full of lies. You cannot find, you cannot find, like as an example, when when uh, uh, when the Quran says that Jibreel, sorry, uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, the, the Spirit of Allah appeared to Mary as a perfect man. The translation, they say the angel, but it doesn't say there is no, there, nowhere it says an angel. It says our spirit, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, when the Quran says, as an example, that, you know, he, he approved the books which, which is between his hand. The Muslim they say books was before him, not between his hand. The, the, what, is the, what is the word here? Bain al Yeah, mm -hmm. but in the translation, it says, let me show you an example. <clears throat> uh, this is the, as an example of the word Bain you know. Lima in the in the in the screen in front of us, chapter two, verse number ninety-seven. When the verses speak about Muhammad, he became for what was exist before him. You know, but mm -hmm. this is not what it says. You know, this is not the, the correct translation. Why they say that? Because that will make a problem. If the Quran says that Muhammad he approved what is between his hands. That's mean the Torah and the Bible are not corrupt. No. So they have to try to, to give false translation. And as an example, here we go. This is a this is a chapter five, verse number forty-eight. If we read together, Yusuf Ali translation. Okay. We send the scripture in truth, confirming <laughs> confirming the scriptures that came before it. Doesn't this is not what it says? It doesn't say that. It says mm -hmm. what the confirming what is between his hands. And there's a huge difference between confirming scriptures came before him and saying confirming what is ha he have right now. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here you see the translation change because if they say between his hand, that's mean that any Muslim he will try to say the Bible and the, the Torah is corrupt. You know that the, the, the gospel and the Torah are corrupt. That will be a contradiction. That will be a problem. So, in order to avoid this problem, we say what was exist before. But this is absolutely false. Uh -huh. And this is the case for all Muslim translators. Look, verifying what 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 is before it of the book. Okay, but this is not really it says and then the verse became became more stupid when it says and guardian over it. Okay, how you can guardian over it if it's corrupt? <laughs> what kind of guard it is? Uh -huh. So in the same statement, in the same translation, they uh, uh you know they they uh, uh they, they make a clear contradiction and it's uh, sound very stupid. Sorry guys, the stream was off. So you cannot see it now. You can see it, no problem. Do we have any Muslim on a call us? Any great Muslim? Okay, anyone is not a great Muslim. I mean, where is the Muslim? What happened? Hmm? Never, my friend, never ever trust a Muslim teaching you about Islam. For many reasons, uh -huh. number one, even the Muslim who is a decent, if he is exist, most of them they do not know what Islam is about. And I will give you an example: Who in the world who is a Muslim right now he can tell me what Allah means? Have you ever heard? <laughs> have you ever heard of religion followers? None of them knows what the word, the name of their God mean. 
if we ask the Christians the Jews what Yahweh mean they will tell you what Elohim mean they will tell you what Jesus mean they will tell you what Christ mean they will tell you okay what Allah mean they don't know you see how quiet look how many there they are in the chat not even a single Muslim can tell us who's Allah they don't know they do not know who's Allah they do not know what you know what he is they do not know what his name mean I mean what a stupid religion you follow a God you have no idea who is he is it is it a legitimate question to ask who is Allah yes okay who is the Muslim one answer us he will say to you oh Allah brother Allah is uh, the creator my friend I did not ask you if you work as a cook or not I'm asking you who is Allah his job his job is God we know what he do He's God He's God okay we got that now who is Allah is the one who created you my Abdul this is another question <laughs> who is Allah you don't know what what Allah mean you don't know how Allah look, you know, what about the look of Allah you know the Muslims they say to us uh, Allah cannot be uh, you know he cannot be inside as a creation it's a lie Islam Islam confirm thousands of times that Allah is inside creation is a yes. creation or not it doesn't matter it he is inside the creation the Quran the hadith everywhere says it clearly that Allah have a physical body is a physical being he moved between physical objects and he is inside them as an example the hadith says that Allah he come down every day in the third part of the night mm -hmm. you know okay well, why Allah come down is Allah if Allah cannot be inside his creation so the the seven heaven it's not his creation He's inside them. He's going down to the lowest heaven. Any Muslim? Oh. Gibt es jemanden hier im Raum, der ein Muslim ist und der gerne dem Bruder Christian Prince eine Frage stellen möchte oder bereit ist, eine Debatte zu führen? Melde dich. <laughs> trau dich, mein Lieber, trau dich. <laughs> Lass uns ein bisschen Spaß haben <laughs> und frag mal ein paar Fragen. Lass den Bruder antworten und der soll dir auch gerne mal ein paar Fragen stellen. Okay, let me translate now to Chinese. Ching ho, ching ho, ching ho. Yeah. Well, the only word I know in Chinese is German Shepherd. I don't know if this is true. Any Abdul, any, any Abdul here? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you live on Facebook or not yet? Not yet. Uh, uh, next time we make it. Yeah, all right. Anyway, I, I, Today I, I you know, I, I wish I speak really German. That would be fun. I mean, seriously, that wow, would be fun. That, that, that was so great. But that I don't know what I can do. I, I, I will order a dish of German to, to learn to learn it, you know, like <laughs> what happened to Muhammad. So if there is any Muslim can tell us, choose, choose a topic, miracle and the Quran. I am desperately waiting for a Muslim to show me one miracle in the Quran or call us and tell us what the word Allah mean use any dictionary you want Arabic dictionary Persian dictionary German dictionary Mossad dictionary use whatever dictionary you want I want to know what Allah mean any Muslim don't tell me that you are worshiping a God all what you know that his name is Allah but yet you do not know even what that word means what did that word mean in different language? Uh, <laughs> me, me, it means hummus. Huh? How do you know that this word fit to be a word as a name for God? Ah, somebody saying to me the moon is split in two. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's being sarcastic. But my friend, even that mer uh, stupid uh, statement in the Quran is stupid. Why? Because that statement proved Muhammad to be a false man. Why? Because it says that the judgment day is near and the moon is split. Mm -hmm. So Muhammad gave a false prophecy that the moon splitting is a sign of a judgment day. And he did not claim that this is his miracle. Even the Quran does not claim that. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see. 
And by the way, that uh, verse was stolen from Imr al Qais. Oh, there's a the, the verse about the moon, the moon split. It was a oh, okay. yeah, it was a it was a statement, a, a poetry. Is, uh, this is the big red light too, huh? Yeah. You can find that in my book actually. This is a poetry from Imr al Qais. He was speaking about his beloved female girl that when he saw her, he said, It's judgment day and the moon split cylinder, which means he, he saw her face. She is beautiful in the Arab, they are in love with white faces. So she is so white, supposedly, like the moon in, in the night, in the dark night. So he said, It's like judgment day. And look at this moon, you know. So he is making a poetry for his girlfriend Muhammad. He copied it, he put it in the Quran. But by putting it in the Quran, he got himself busted. Now, the verse here is saying, The hour, the judgment day, is night, and the moon is a cliff ascender. So Muhammad he used the poetry of this man, and by doing that, he got himself exposed for a false prophecy. Which he's claiming that the judgment day is very close, and this is a sign of it. But this is was a sign which is supposed to happen 1400 years ago and have nothing to do even with the eclipse. You know, it is just a poetry. However, it might be, you know, the Muslim they try to say the moon is split for you. It, then, if this is the case, it is the eclipse. We see it always, you know, tens of time in the same year. So when Muhammad he said that this is the judgment day sign did he lie to you Muslims obviously he is a liar because imagine I say to you it's near and this is a sign of it and this is was a thousand and four hundred years ago where is the judgment day is near and the word in Arabic it is a qtarabat so close it's like there you know we are it's not we are not talking about something so say what someone saying like you judgment day is coming no 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 he's saying iqtarabat you see the word in arabic iqtarabat it's it's so close it's like almost in the corner so how muhammad can be a prophet do we have any muslim No, Abdul. Very disappointed of the Muslims today. Not even a single core. Uh, you know, Amira, I'm going to drop you down. Maybe a Muslim okay. trying. Maybe a Muslim trying to call us. Let us give them a chance. Maybe okay. they can call, and we will okay, see. Brother. You know, if nobody call, you can call back. Let us give them a chance. Okay, to call brother. Us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Thank, okay. you. Thank yes. you. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do we have any Abdul here? <laughs> Who is a Muslim would like to call? Any Muslim want to get the blessing of Allah and get the versions? Don't you want to get versions? Be honest. Why in the world someone he believe in Islam will not like to defend his God and get as many versions as he can get? The real father of Muhammad. Well, there nobody really knows the real father of Muhammad, but uh, I believe, I believe this is my own personal. The real father of Muhammad is Waraq ibn Nawfal, because all the evidence lead us to there. If you have my book, you can you can see that. Anyone? So it's so clear we are challenging Muslim to call us to speak about the miracle of the Quran and not a single one until now call. How, how many hours we are on air already? How many hours? Three hours? Three hours and not even one Muslim? I mean, this is a shame. We are three hours going in the fourth, I think. We started at 4.30, now it is almost uh, 7.
where is the proud Muslims about their religion? Should we go about should, should we go over the miracles one by one and love? Who is a Muslim want to give me a website of your choice full of miracles so we can see them? You see the miracle of number 19? Just to show you how stupid they are. Look, read with me. The first verse, number one, known as Bismillah, consists of 19 letters. Is that true? Is that true? Big fat lie. <laughs> let me let me show you how we can kill their miracles in a second. We go to the Arabic and I type the word Bismillah. Chapter 1, verse number 1. You see, in Arabic, my friend, there's nothing is called Bism. Here, there's a letter Alif. For the sake of singing the Quran, the Muslim deleted the Alif. So here it is Bism. It is Bism. So let us write it for you. B and here there's a Hamza too and Hamza is considered as a letter so here we have one letter two letters are missing from the word that will make them not 19 that will make it the total if we count all of them make them 21 already now here if you see here there's a Rahman here there's an alif, Muslim don't count it, but this is a real alif. It's even written by their own hand, as you see it in the screen. But they make it small just as a decoration. It's like uh, art, but it is real. The real writing of Ar Rahman is like this Ar Rahman. I'm using the mouse, so sorry if the writing is not so much good. This is how it is here, and they have little alif here. To make it correct, what we do, we will erase it. Actually, if you have my book, I showed you images from Islamic website, Islamic books, how it is written. Al Rahman. It's like this. Al Ra Man. So the difference is between this one and this one, the one in the top and the one underneath is the following. Here, Ar Rahman is coming as little alif as a decoration, as an art. The Muslim don't count it. And this is the alif. That alone will destroy all the calculation of number 19. Add to this the other alif here. And that alone is enough to, cal to destroy all the calculation of number 19. And not only this, this is here. Hamza, you know, the Hamza. And that alone can destroy everything. So it just in one verse in the Quran, we showed you how many lies they have. So where is the miracle number 19? Any Muslim, he have the courage to call me and to correct me and get me busted? That I'm lying? Who is a brave Muslim can call me right now and say you are a liar and you are adding letters to the Quran? Who want to do it? potatoes this is the truth you Muslims are a bunch of potatoes you are so brave to debate someone who knows nothing about Islam but when we are here to challenge you you are so mute and by the way how stupid this statement is that God is talking and he's saying in the name of Allah I mean who are you then have you ever heard of someone says, I am a Christian prince, I say in the name of a Christian prince? You are a Christian prince. Your Quran is full of stupidity. Obviously, this is the author of the Quran making the Quran, adding there saying in the name of Allah. It is not Allah talking. But according to Muslims, every word there is Allah talking. But how Allah he say in the name of Allah? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul when I call us? 
Yeah, in it is bism. In Arabic, there's nothing. It's called bism. There's no Arabic word bism. This does not exist in Arabic. We don't have it. Never. It is bism. And right now we are speaking here. I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. You know why? Why? Why didn't do it? Ask yourself. Why a Muslim don't call me right now and show me that this is not a true? Do you know why they don't do it? Because they knew it's it's true. If you write Bism like this in any exam, people will lie at will laugh at you. This is obviously an Arabic mistake. But the Muslim they have an explanation. They say, well, because you know the singing the Quran will make it easier. So to, in order to sing the Quran, we have to make it easier and be ism. It's not good. We'll break the tune. So we say bism. We like make it light. So bismillahi. Otherwise, it is be ismillah. So imagine he's saying be ismillah. So so they took it off. Any Abdul? And you know the Hamza, the Hamza is a letter by itself. So we have two letters in the same word. Let me show you. Let me show you. I will look for a Muslim website. Uh, <clears throat> to show you how the Muslims they write the word. Here we go. This is the official website of the Imam Ibn Baz. Ibn Baz, for those who do not know, this is one of the biggest scars of Islam in Saudi Arabia. And he passed away. All right? Read with me, BSM. Do you see how it is? Do you see BSM? <laughs> do you see it? Did he write it wrong? No. This is the correct way. You see it? Do you see it? This is BSM. Do you see the LF here? There's LF. Let me zoom. Let me zoom more. Hold on. To make it clear for you. You see it? In the Quran, it's written like this. B, ism, bism, without LF. Here there's Aleph. You see the Aleph? You see the Aleph? So all the calculation of 19 is a, is a, is a excuse my language, is a bullshit. Just in one line, I found, in one word, I found you two additional letters Muslim did not count. And I'm assuming this guy who typed this here, he don't have in his keyboard the, the Hamza. Now, if you go down, this is the answer. Actually, you know, let us do this. This is the word be asma. It's a plural name of the word be bism. Let us go to the Quran. <clears throat> Do you see it? This is the word ism. You see the alif and the hamza? Do you see the word the ism? This is the by the way. Here we have additional a and the and etc. because it's a plural name. Many. This is the ism <laughs> in the Quran. I'm not quoting from different book, you know. But you know, as I said, Muslims they can lie to you as long as you do not know anything about Islam. The second they notice that you know, then they shut up and they they go mute. 
But if you do not know, they have a big mouth and they will say to you, amazing miracle in the Quran. This is why Shabir Ali, he keep mentioning this each time he speak to an American uh, debater, uh, like as an example. Look, look at me, look at me. Do you see the BSM here? Guys, do you see the word BSM? Do you see it? Do you see it or not? This is the same word. Do you see the Aleph? Do you see the Aleph, which is a equal to letter A? The one is missing. Do you see it? This is the real way. So in front of your eyes. <laughs> so why here it's not Bism? Because simply in the beginning, this is a statement. It does not fit with the music, with the sound, with the, with the what is coming after. Here it fit. Or let us say, maybe they missed to, to change it. But this is the correct way of the world. Any Abdul? <clears throat> so why why they fabricate all those things the the point is very simple they want to convince you they want to make you astonished with something is not exist you see it? You see it? BSM. Aleph. Aleph. BSM. This is Quran. We are not copying from different book. You know? You see it? Oh, look how many times. Look how many times repeated in the Quran with Aleph. Where is the miracle? The miracle is gone in a second. Became shish kebab hummus. Now we made Amira drop the phone call, hoping that a Muslim will call us. Where are you, Muslims? Not even one. Any Abdul? Obviously, they are scared and they are terrified. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Already it's 7 o'clock. I hope next time, you know, this is why you guys, you need to help me to get more, to get Muslims here to debate. So when we have a live broadcast, please copy the link, share it with your friends and in Facebook and in Twitter, etc. And make Muslims come and tell them, don't worry, be happy. Allah will take your side. If Allah is with you, who could be against you? A guy like Christian Prince? No way. Come on, you will be victorious. Allah, the God of the virgins, he is in your side. What are you worried about? Doesn't make sense, right? So uh, we have an open invitation for the Muslims. And don't worry, I'm not really against you. I'm not, I'm not going to speak to you to insult you. I, we are just seeking the truth. Whoever have the truth, at the end, the truth is winner. It's not me, it's, it's not you. So if you claim to be a Muslim who defend the truth, let the truth win. Whoever have the truth, it doesn't matter. We want the truth win, not you, not me. So be a man and stand for the truth. If you are a Muslim and you believe the truth in your side, then show us. Otherwise, you are lying. It's a shame that we stand here for a couple of hours, keep saying who is a Muslim when I call us, and we cannot find anyone to explain to us the Star War miracles in the Quran. Do you know that the Quran says that Allah He will shoot the star, the, shoot the shaitan in his ass if he try to spy at him? This is a miracle, isn't it? And the shaitan He live in earth. And he will shoot him with a star. A star to kill a shaitan. Muhammad, he tied a shaitan in the column of his mosque. Small, tiny, in the size of a monkey. Allah, he need a star to kill a shaitan. This is a stupid religion. And they are trying to fool you and make you believe that this religion contains science. 
simply because they are bankrupt. This is why learning from what we say to you, take reference, you can get my books from Amazon. However, you do not need to buy them if you are not into, uh, into reading. I have thousands and thousands of videos for free. For free. And we do our service here for free. However, if you like to read books with details, with reference in your hand, anytime you can come back to them, you can go to Amazon.com and search for my name. Just type Christian Prince and you will find all my books there in many languages. And always ask yourself a very simple question. Why in other form you find Muslims fighting to debate? You go to the, the corner I guess corner speaker big mouth. Where are they here? Where is the corner speaker? Where is those Muslims who make videos about miracles? Why we need to keep shouting who is the Muslim want to show us one miracle? Why we cannot find them? Why it's so difficult? Because they knew very well that here Islam is going to be busted So we better not to talk about it we better to hide our tail and we better not to mention it. Otherwise, Allah will turn to look like a joke. The next video we will do, remember, we do three broadcasts at least a week. However, during the week, I do broadcast two. The three days is Friday at 4.30 p.m., Sunday at 4.30 p.m., and Wednesday at 4.30 p.m. And 40 p.m., 4:30 p.m. New York time. Just take a note. However, during the week, I make broadcast in different timing too. But those are the only three fixed timing you can find me in. Subscribe so you get notified when we have a live podcast. And by the way, some of you are saying we are not receiving notification. I think you need to go to your setting and change the notification setting in your in your YouTube. All right. You need to change the setting of your YouTube account so you can receive notification. Mostly it is disabled, and this is why you are not receiving any. All right? So I want to say thank you guys for being here, and I hope today we have a good time together. And I hope soon, the coming Sunday, we will have a brave Muslim who have the courage and the knowledge to debate us and to prove us wrong. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Amen to that. See you soon again. Bye-bye.